thousand feet. So let you know when you're, when you're getting out of range, or is it? Um, yeah, because you you lose video signal, and when you lose video signal, all I do then is I just hit. It has a home button here. Yeah. I pull it down, and it it just starts flying back to you. And then once it's um, once it's back to you, uh, or it's within controllable range again. I switch it back into this angle mode and I take over and fly it the rest of the way home. So, yeah. yeah. And how high will it go? Uh, well, legally you can't go any higher than 400 feet. 400 feet. Yeah, because the aircraft, but the aircraft in this area fly lower than 400 yeah. feet. Yeah. So you have to listen and, you know, if you hear a plane in the area, you have to bring it down. You don't want to cause problems, you know. You have to have a, a license? An FAA license, yes. You do? Yes. So because it weighs over, um, uh, 50 ounces and if, if over a certain weight they have to be registered so no, I think it's 50 it's ounces not a bad idea. oh no great idea and, and I have uh, I, I always try to fly as safe as I possibly can I don't uh, I don't push limits yeah. like some people do I know some people try to fly them out a mile away two miles away yeah. I'm not doing that they, they put a special antenna on their tra on their transmitter and everything to do it Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You've got a, you've got a, um, you've got a camera on it. Uh, you can. You, you, I'll Pretty good camera. Yes. Yeah, see, see, see. I'm tilting the camera right now. Oh wow. You can tilt it straight down. If you're if you're flying over terrain, you can tilt it straight down to where you're looking at what's directly below you. So uh -huh. it's really kind of neat. Yeah. And then, then. It, it runs off of, off of a charge? Or? Yeah, it's got, a, uh, it's got a, 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 a lithium battery in it, lithium polymer battery, and um, okay. right now I've got 11.2 um, volts left in it, so I've got plenty of charge. I could go up again and fly a little while yet. Look at that. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Kind of neat. My name's Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Yeah, I think I've met you before. I do a lot of maintenance in this area. Oh, do you? Yeah. Yeah, I, I just remodeled my whole house. I don't know if you saw when I had my yeah, big old I container the out there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, um, I knocked out a, a, a bearing wall and put in a beam and a uh, major remodel. Good. Did you do it all yourself? Yeah, me and my, my best friends. Good. Yeah, I, I had a, the guy down here, Steve, three houses down. Um, it's an electrician, so he helped me with the electrical part of it. Oh, yeah. We pulled in a service for my uh, for my oven and my microwave, and uh, and rerouted some wires up in the attic to get it to because where I took out the wall, they were all had wires in them, so we had to get rid of those. Mm -hmm. And um, then I had a young guy that I don't know. Did you see when the cactus fell over and, and mm -hmm. took out the front of my house? Mm -hmm. Well, the young guy that did the repair for the drywall. Came and did the did the drywall in here for me, and um, then the young guy that I uh, the young guy he's 50 some years old now, but he was a kid when I met him. Uh, gave him his very first job as a flooring contractor years and years ago um, when I had a business up in Sedona, and uh, he came at, from Flagstaff. He came down and spent three days and and installed my my flooring for me. So. Um, I, I did the whole remodel, and most people don't believe this, but I did the whole remodel for about $11,000. Well, you could do a lot of it yourself, and yeah. you know the right people. Well, and the, and the two guys that helped me with the carpentry, I've known for 51 years. Yeah. And uh, they, Jerry, did, Jerry and Ron didn't charge me a thing. They just came and helped. Mm -hmm. And Jerry had all the right tools, so yeah, it, it went really, really, really quick. We put up an 18-foot 18, 18 uh, lamb beam. Get to a special order that from uh, we got it at R&K okay. yeah so yeah it, it worked out really really well yeah. you know and then my friend around the corner Ron who I who I said helped us um, he had just done it to his house so so he, his in fact his is even more elaborate than mine by a whole bunch yeah. and uh, so yeah Ron and I uh, Ron and I have been friends for 51 years we've been doing hot rods and other stuff together for years and years and years that's so, cool yeah yeah well I saw the thing flying over I was over visiting visiting the, well, I was doing thermostating for a guy over here and we heard it fly over yeah and he says well I think the guy 
the resident lives right over here. Yeah. Uh, I saw you bringing it down. Yeah, my neighbors are real cool about it, which I appreciate, you know? Yeah. Because some neighbors get all, oh, you're spying on us and blah, blah, blah. No, I don't, I, you can't see anything from up. Yeah, I mean, you can see a yard. It looks like ants running around in the yard, <laughs> you know? So, yeah. anyway. I don't think you just have some 80 year old lady running around topless anyway. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> and hopefully not. That would, probably my camera lens would shatter.